Oh my god, I'm cooking right now. Holy shit, I'm cooking. Oh god, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Big ass fire, so 100% pen. Secret, Secret technique. technique. Crimson Kaido. Cooked. That guy has damn near 600 HP. And I did a whole bar of damage to him. So you know I cooked. I swear to you, all the other build videos in the Prior Keeper are absolutely capping. And that's because I not only have the best Prior Keeper build, but also the secret sources to push this build to that God Seeker level. So if you want the juicy stats, secret techs, and synergies, make sure to watch this whole video. And with that said, let's get straight into talking about this dumbass weapon. Guys, I genuinely don't know what strand of crack Fino snorted that made him drop a weapon with 5 unique crits, but holy fury Squibbo did bro cook. This weapon is truly the pinnacle of deep work and balance. With innate pre-nerf blazing, the big ass flame sword has some insane synergies, such as every M1 and crit giving you a flame wisp heal. Yo, who the fuck let that be in the game? And them crits have some lengthy animations where throughout the entire thing you're healing. And not to mention how your crits just naturally do 20% more damage. As when you land the crit, you proc your flame, which then procs agitate and spark, which then procs charge return, giving you that 20% damage buff on every single crit. Still a few more synergies with this busted ass weapon that I'll get into later on in the video, but for now let's talk about the mantras. Now the mantras on any build is always preference. These are just my favorite flame mantras. First up, it's Fireblade. Arguably the best guard break in all of Deep Woken. Plus, Fireblade into free Perfect Lens Fireforge still does a whole bar of damage. You want to run Insignia on the Fireblade and Blue Gem on the Fireforge. Next up is Ash Slam. Genuinely one of my favorite flame mantras of all time. It's super consistent and funny enough, the Kaido Bypass works pretty well with it. I run free Perfect Lens on Ash Slam and you either want to put a Bless or a Blue Gem on it. Another super good high damaging mantra is Burning Servant. When modded with two strats and three rush, it's hella big and super quick. It does a decent amount of so it's just really good to put pressure on your enemy But it does also drain a decent amount of ethos So you definitely want to run a blue gem on this This build also gets more than 60 willpower So you can definitely pick up level 4 exhaustion strike And as a heavy user it's really important to get rid of your posture Because when you get parried you get more posture than other weapon types Plus M1 into exhaustion strike is basically true Exhaustion strike also has a super long cooldown So you want to run a blessed gem on this For our support slot flame wisp is basically a must have Other than that I'm running a level 4 gaze with 3 aeons and 3 eternals Using a wind gem This randomly procs the wind gem Making me just get a nice speed boost mid fight And it's just really useful Plus it's super annoying to your opponent that constantly gets stunned randomly. That's about it when it comes to the mantras. Now let's talk about what makes this build do stupid amounts of damage. Going into this build's main gimmick slash talents, I'm picking up one of my favorite cards, and that's Million Ton Piercer, allowing us to uncap our pen to hit that 100% pen on our mantras, and around 80% pen on our M1s. I also got 85 willpower pre shine to pick up Heretic Sutra and Shared Misery, which is a really stupid talent that basically lets us give away our insanity like it's the fucking bubonic plague on our M1s and crit. This is especially dangerous in the depths, so if you're ever getting jumped or you're a demon doing the jumping, just know this build can handle it. I also do pick up Oaths on this build just for the extra HP, but you can definitely pick any other Oath that you like, it's just all preference. And that's that's about it when it comes to the talents and gimmicks. There isn't any other super interesting talents, so let's get straight into the secret source of this build. Before we talk about our techs and synergies, please do consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It's free and it helps me out a ton. Yup, it's time for my favorite part of these videos, talking about the stupid combinations of skills and abilities that push this build to a whole new level. First, let's talk about explosive finish. When looking at the card description, it reads, if an enemy is on fire while you flourish them, blast them away with a fire blast. Now, one would assume that the person that you're flourishing must already be on fire for the explosion to happen. And to that, my giant fiery sword says, nah, I'd explode. And every single flourish after that procs an explosion. Why, you might be asking? I don't fucking know. Ox Fino, but I'm definitely not complaining. I mean, I am a flame charm main after all. Next up, is Ardor Scream. Don't ask why I have Ardor Scream, just know it's really stupid. For one, Ardor Scream has so much utility. It's got a stupid amount of range, so it gets everyone in combat within that dumb radius. It also lowers the opponent's total posture, so on its own, it's pretty solid. But did you know you can basically move stack your crit with Ardor Scream? Let's rewind for a second. When you use Ardor Scream, it drains all of your ether. This was intended so you can't immediately start spamming your mantras right after using it. But when your crit is a whole loss mantra in itself, it literally does not matter because you can basically simultaneously use Ardor Scream while while using your crit, which makes your crit do- wait, am I reading this shit correctly? 25% more damage? Hey, yo, when combined with charge return, that's basically 45% more damage. What the hell? Who the fuck let this be in the game? Speaking of crits, this weapon has 5. 
five whole crits. Remember when LFD having three crits was crazy? Yeah, Deep Woken has progressed. Or regress, depending on which brainless Deep Woken player you are. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. If you ask me, the best crit undoubtedly is the slide crit. It's just super fluid and flows in and out of combos pretty well. It also bypasses block when you use it correctly, and that's always a plus here. And by use it correctly, I mean just throw out the crit. And if they try to block it, you're going to be flying right behind them and hitting them no matter what. But definitely don't sleep on the other crits. They're all super strong, and I'd enjoy them while they last. Because knowing Deep, they might be gone on Friday. And finally, let's move on to how this build is exactly put together. This is the stat sheet for this build. For the traits, I'd recommend to go 4206 to get the maximum damage output. If you have any questions about this build or any other build, make sure to join GG slash Kaida's commandment and ping me in any one of the chats. I'll always be happy to help you guys. Full building with the stat order will be down in the description below of the video. And with that said, Kaido out.